Microsoft Windows 11 encryption may damage data, Microsoft says. And I'm not an encryption expert, but wouldn't that still be encrypted then? I mean, if it's, if the hackers can't get in my data. <laughs> yeah. As long as it's safe, right? That's yeah. all that matters. Yeah. Even if you can't get to you it. You take yeah. my data, you smash it with a hammer and go, <laughs> yeah. hackers ain't getting this. Nah. Right. Actually, that is a valid form of like destruction of data yep. is that they will encrypt it and then throw away the keys. Oh, and really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then no one's getting that. That is good. No, that is fair. But yeah. uh, but this one this one is bad. This one so, is bad. So because this is data that you're supposed to be able to unencrypt down the road. So so what's <laughs> the idea? what's happening in this case? What is what's causing the damage? Anybody? Anybody? Yeah. Anybody? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, <laughs> Can we just say Microsoft? <laughs> uh, enough Windows. said. Windows. Yes. Right, our next story. No. <laughs> yeah. So apparently with, uh, you know, a lot of the new processors, uh, you know, and they've had them for a while, have hardware acceleration, helps to speed up the process, especially when you're using stronger cipher suites and stuff like that. And apparently their implementation of this is uh, having an adverse effect that they weren't expecting. It uh, seems like it's doing more damage than it is good. Is this affecting... Anybody using Windows 11, or like, do you have to have some higher level of encryption turned on, or something, or home users, or business, and anybody? Oh, I want to say, Sophia, as someone who read the article, I did, did. Did, they say, <laughs> I did. did they say anything about Several that? Several times. Y'all have no idea. I poured over this like I was taking an exam. Yeah, I know. It was so, funny to watch. Look at her with uh, the highlighters. <laughs> So it's, um, I didn't understand half of the words, sure. but that's why I'm here. Um, yeah. Basically, it's, I guess, systems that have a certain kind of processor mm. that supports. Mm -hmm. So it's processor it says, specific. Right. Yeah. Yep. And there's a way oh. to fix it, but it fixes it and then it, but it makes your machine slower, I guess. And so yes. then there's a fix for the fix. And it's yeah. good, isn't it? Don't it you is. just love doing this game? Isn't it fun? <laughs> hey, let's have computers, security. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's affecting both Intel and it's affecting AMD. So you have, um, the, uh, ice, uh, ice Lake, Tiger Lake and Rocket Lake, all the lakes there for that architecture. And then some of the Zen four processors and you talk about it slowing down. It's because it sounds like it's essentially just disabling hardware acceleration in these processors, which is why you're going to start to it says notice performance degradation up to a month after yeah that, that's that's pretty bad no my my favorite part of the article was when it said that uh microsoft doesn't mention what to do if you've already been hit by this yes data damage issue but you'll be glad to know that you can apply a fix and it won't do it anymore <laughs> I, I like how it has in quotes to prevent further yeah, damage yeah <laughs> We can't do anything about the damage that's already happened. I mean, that is slap gone, whatever that was. Again, so. you asked us to encrypt the data. Yeah, the we did encrypted. the thing. You didn't say you needed it back. By yeah. the way, turn on BitLocker. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So it's affecting things like transport layer security, load balancers, they mention, which load balancers, they're supposed to be there to help us with performance, right? Nah, that's stupid. That's right. So <laughs> we're going to take something that's a technology that's specifically there to help the performance levels of any service being offered, and we're going to just make it come to a crawling halt. Man, last time I got a deal like that was these tires I bought off this guy named Merle. Yeah, Maypops. <laughs> yeah, may pop. they're great. Maypops, yeah. 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 <laughs> don't, tires, don't run man. them too fast because they may pop. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> so, yeah, basically, if you are running Windows 11, um, yeah, take a look at uh, at this article, and it's it's got some information to help you find, figure out basically if you are affected and uh, as daniel said the things you can do to make sure you aren't affected more <laughs> it's, ser it's server 2022 as well so it's not just yeah, windows not 11, just windows 11 server yeah. operating systems but since only five people on the planet run windows server 22 mm -hmm. he shouldn't have to but th those tend to be like important computers sometimes. yes <laughs> good backups yes. yeah yeah right? we kind of harp on this from time to time and but that's good because backups aren't you just backing up the, the still damaged, damaged data. stuff yeah. not necessarily no. like you might have an old oh you might depends be able to roll on when back. you got hit yeah okay that's a good point yeah so find find the one that isn't broke yeah. And then restore from that one. Use that. Got it. That just, <laughs> yeah. That's just good practice. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.